right, I'm just here with SP, who's jumped on the course in the last few weeks. So you're up to week three. We're about to jump into week four shortly. So SP, can you just tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, what your profession is, and why you join the course? Yeah. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for that. And uh, I'm a basically mechanical engineer by profession, and uh, I have uh, more than 12 years of experience in project management. Currently, I'm working as a IT consultant, and I am from last couple of months. I was looking for some course to join in to get the more depth, deep dive knowledge. So how to do the property development? Then I came across uh, Adam's course. So from day uh, lecture one to till this uh, course, so I, it's pretty impressive. So he has shown us a lot of things in detail, technically also. So quick fizzles. <laughs> so another things which are I am hoping and till this date, the course is up to my expectations. So that's that's the even I can recommend someone else if they they want to do some developments or. They want some, some people want a financial freedom. So any passive income. So if want, they want to do some developments in their spare time, so definitely they can go and just have yeah. a look in Adam's. Yep. You, you must have a high bar. I was hoping you were going to say exceeded expectations, but if it meets <laughs> expectations, I'll just, I'll just assume your bar is really high. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's exceed. It's not an issue. So it's, no, it's, it's, it's more than that. Yeah. It's more than that. Yeah. Awesome. What I was expecting. Yep. And I know you've come from like a construction project management background. Yep. Yep. But that, and for the guys that don't come from that background, um, which which will be looking at this video thinking, oh, can I do it if I don't come from that background? Ah, uh, yeah. That, so that what... hasn't been specifically in property development, has it? So this is still a learning curve for you, right? Yeah, that's correct. It means uh, your course is well designed. So... It doesn't matter whether you have a, a project management background or construction management background. So you can easily grasp the things, learn the things and go accordingly the flow and you can do the uh, property development. So it's it's not like that. So it's, it's an added advantage if someone has a construction or project management prior experience to join this course. But if yeah. you don't have, it's not a big deal, not an issue. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it helps in one regard with, you know, if you're looking at doing the project delivery. Um, yeah. But in saying that and talking from experience, sometimes it hinders you because you get too wrapped up in delivering the project that you forget about or don't have the time or don't allow the time for the next deal or doing the first bit properly because that's where all the money is made. So you want to yep. try and get out of the project management stuff as much as you can maybe to start with you want to do it but if you've got multiple projects on the go and you're looking for the next deal you might be looking for the next deal and you don't have time to manage yeah you know, that's correct, that's correct. so this is this is for the start start of the thing so when you scale up so definitely you will uh, leverage from yeah. different uh, yeah so that's yeah. that's correct. Yeah. yeah yeah cool so what what actually motivated you to do the course initially other than you know you want to be a property developer what's your true motivation why do this why spend time learning about development why not just do what you're currently doing uh i did a, I like to spend more time with my family and uh, another motivation is i have i don't want to get this nine to five i have to get from that grind so that's that's the main my motivation to yeah, do this yeah. property development and and to join Adam is being a technical person. So I have searched his profile. You can also search in LinkedIn. So he's a civil engineer. <laughs> he also introduced yeah. himself. So I am a bit uh, more like I got uh, impressed with his profile. So that's why I joined his course. Oh, cool. That's, that, that's I'm, leg I'm legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the another thing. That's I, that's I correct. That's because a lot of people are selling courses online. You yeah. can do, you can even learn from YouTube. A lot of things are out there, right? But whether it's legit, legit, yes, or yeah. whether it works in current market or not, so that that matters. 
Yes, I hear you. I know what you mean. When I've researched certain topics, you find just conflicting views and you're like, who do I actually listen to? Yes, that's good. And yeah, it's a bit it's a bit frustrating. There's so much free information online and yeah. just so much information online, but it's all conflicting because <laughs> yeah, anyone, that's, that's, anyone that's can the, put stuff up now. Yeah, that's the oversupplied information, right? So, so much, you can't yeah. decide on that basis. So joining a course, going through a phases, like we learn in engineering, right? So first semester, this second semester, this. So that's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, what I wanted to ask as well, obviously this is off the cuff. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to think of what, what else would somebody wanting to join the course want to know? I suppose um, what is, what's possible for you um, after starting the course and what, what do you expect is possible in terms of, you know, what projects are you doing? What's, what target are you setting for yourself for the next 12 months? 18 months or two years, whatever that looks like, if you're happy to share that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Vince, before starting the project, I was not confident. Still, I am in the middle of the project, uh, that this course, sorry, uh, middle of this course. And uh, I'm a bit confident now, more confident than that. So I can do the things. So I have just uh, set up my bar a bit not higher for the first 12 months. So I'm looking for a single dwelling, what we have discussed earlier. So I'm looking for a, 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 a simple subdivision and a single dwelling project to start with. So later I will scale it up. So I have a bigger plan for five years or 10 years down the line. So for first 12 years or 12 or 18 months, I am going for a single house or maybe two townhouses like that. So I have to do whether what number says. So accordingly, I have to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. good. I think that's an awesome start really good there's a there's a suburb even where we live at the moment um the suburb i was looking at just a single house making and you know nothing too special there's four or five hundred thousand dollars profit in the current market when building a single house so okay. you know, people think development is all about building mass and quantity a single mm. house is still it's development in its simplest form um you don't have to deal with council as much but I mean, you know, at the end of it, if you're selling it, you know, money's money's money, right? You're doing yeah, that's it for good. a reason. If you're yeah, that's good. yours is yours is to quit your job and get time back. If you made four hundred grand from doing a single house, and it doesn't really matter whether it's a house, duplex. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Yes, <laughs> really, it's numbers. Yeah, it's, that's that's correct. Yeah, doesn't matter it what doesn't it looks matter. like. Yep. Yeah. Means my target is uh, when I get two hundred k. For a year, then I'll leave my job, what I'm doing currently. Oh, I'll awesome. jump full time on the this development. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, thank you so much, SP. I really appreciate it. And Thanks. hopefully yeah, somebody else does if they're from an engineering background or a technical yeah, background yeah. or not. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks for your time. And thanks for guiding us to start with this journey. And we have a lot of hopes from you. <laughs> no yeah, pressure yeah <laughs> well hopefully i'm looking forward to doing the next videos where people are buying stuff and they've bought properties under market value yeah and are doing the development um and hopefully i've taught you guys enough to buy property under market so when somebody comes back with a purchase you bought something a hundred thousand under market value or yeah, 200,000. So, you know, you might do that in your first deal just on the way in. You might, yeah, you might yeah. replace 200,000. It's, I mean, it's, it's possible. Um, I've done that on just about every one of my deals, even on the smaller deals. Um, when I was buying smaller developments, I was buying them for $500,000 under market value because I just knew the area, I knew the zoning, and other people didn't know that. So, anyway, yeah, thanks again. Good. No worries. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll, I'll hit the stop time. record and.